This is uh, Fernando Nardi and uh, I'm going to talk about risk management. After the first section on climate risks, a risk assessment, the second section, we now go ahead uh, in the knowledge of how to understand and manage the devastating impacts of natural hazards on our heritage. We now uh, discuss and introduce risk management from knowledge to mitigation the disaster management cycle. We introduce the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction. It's a United Nations program that is setting up an agenda, in this case the 2015-2030 agenda, outlining the targets and the priorities for action to prevent the new and to reduce existing disaster risks. As you see, uh, there are four main items of this uh, cycle. First, understanding disaster risk. Second, strengthening the governance uh, to manage risk and uh, put in place disaster actions. Third, investing in disaster reduction for resiliency of our systems where we live. And fourth, enhancing disaster preparedness for effective response so that we can build back better and go back to normal situation after a disaster strikes. So, as you see in this uh, plot, it's a cycle iterating from the phases before the event to the immediate time before the event happens and then you will go into the management of the event and the post-event sequence. So, we need to be prepared, as you see in the top left. We need to mitigate and prevent. And then the, there is the response in occasion of the event and the recovery phases. So, we here define five main sections of the cycle, in this case, prevention, mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery. Prevention is uh, the first that we will define in the cycle, and it's very important to understand that in order to manage disasters, we need to be proactive. We need to first and before identify the potential threats and defining the safeguard measures how to mitigate the impact of disasters. So, even if uh, you know in the cycle we think about permanent actions and measures, it's important to understand first of all that disasters cannot be prevented. We can understand, we can manage, mitigate, be prepared, but it's something we can avoid. The risk, by definition, cannot be zero. So, prevention uh, can be including both physical elements and action and also behavioral elements. That's the first important thing to know. So, for example, an evacuation plan for a school so that teachers and students learn together, work together to understand which are the safety measures in case of a tornado, a fire or a flood. It's a non-physical action. It's a very important prevention action that is the knowledge of uh, what, what may happen and what we may do. While in other cases there are physical elements, like for example, if we build locks, dams or channels of storage areas uh, when there is a lot of water accumulating, like during intense uh, rainfall or floods, it's a physical structural element that we use to protect areas from natural disasters connected to hydro meteo climate extremes for example that's the prevention phase we put in action physical and also non-physical behavioral and knowledge action to to prevent in the cycle always before the event there is mitigation in the mitigation it's, uh, the, by definition, the actions and the features we build, we develop, 
to minimize the losses of human life or the losses to the physical elements of our urban systems. We here define two main sets of uh, mitigation actions along the same line of the sequence starting from prevention. Structural and non structural measures. Structural measures uh, are the physical elements that we built and we put into place uh, for minimizing the effects of natural disasters. So, for example, here in the slide you see clearing trees away from a house, since we know that the tree may fall during strong winds is a mitigation action that, it, that required like a physical action. Levees, storage areas uh, or other walls for protection, protecting our houses are structural measures. While for example, no structural measures uh, may be like building codes or guidelines or zoning. Zoning risks like flood zones or earthquake zones or wind zones can be effective mitigation measures, non-structural measures, it's the knowledge of the zone when something may happen that are being into a place for mitigating disaster risk. So risk zoning and early warning systems are also mitigation actions, non-structural in this case. Moving ahead towards the preliminary phase before the event, just the time before the event may happen, we, were, we have preparedness. Preparedness is a process, is a complex process because it involves uh, from policies to guidelines to people that, has to, that, that they have to be prepared. So individuals, communities, businesses, all the organization characterizing society shall be prepared and put into action preparedness actions for preparing to the events of natural disasters. So training, uh, evacuation plans and corrective actions uh, are measures that are also named readiness actions. So we need to get ready for the event to happen. So for example, fire drills, active shooter drills and other Evacuation rehearsal, like the test we do, are good examples of preparedness stage. So while a family evacuation plan into place uh, is from the knowledge uh, and ongoing action that goes into preparedness, uh, it's another important uh, asset we may uh, have for preparing, for example, in the case of a flood, understanding where our property is understanding where to go in case of uh, rising waters so that we know we need to go in that area close to my house that's in a higher stage and I can be ready so I, I'm not flooded, I don't lose my life, is an important preparedness action. Same, making supply kits for food and water so that I can be ready for being without food and water for several days. So, so this life supply kit is another important asset I can, that I can use for being prepared. Moving towards the, the beginning, the development of a natural disaster, we have response. Our ability to make decisions is very important. So the response stage, uh, one of the major important uh, thing I need to understand is that here, during the event, the, there is a very important uh, variable that is the time. Making timely decision is one of the most important uh, uh, conditions for an optimal response action by society during a natural disaster. So having valuable skills uh, and the interaction of the affected people with the volunteers so, or the energy managers and responders is one of the most important parts of the response. So warning, evacuation, search and rescue, the assistant, uh, how to manage the damages we're going to have with during the disaster are all important actions of the response phase. So the assistance, 
and the immediate restoration or the construction of a temporary infrastructure to manage the event are all important response uh, assets. So in the pre-disaster phase or the, during the, the, the first part of the disaster, uh, the implementation, also the evacuation and disaster management plans I discussed earlier are the one of the most uh, important response, response actions I need to do. So do not walk away or as players win with the water, but move in safer ground are important response action. After the event uh, finishes, we have the recovery phase. Disaster management leaders uh, shall help communities to recover. Recover by definition is going back, going back to pre-disaster conditions and make society resilient and responding to the event so that the recovery may be fast and effective. So while, uh, like in examples, like New Orleans, uh, that after decades is still not fully recovered, we need to understand that while the time condition during the event is really minutes or hours, uh, the recovery phase uh, usually lasts years. It takes a lot of time, depending on the intensity of the disaster. There is a lot of time we need to manage and we need to pass for the society, for the urban city, for the coastal area to go into pre-condition, into the pre-event uh, conditions, so to fully recover. So recovery is about helping individuals, communities, businesses, other organizations to return to normal or to a new normal stage. Again, depending on the on the impact of the disaster itself.